Hey guys, Kathy here. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this um, pine and hay cube hanging toy that you can hang onto the top of the cage, just like that, and that's how it looks. So to get started, I'll show you guys all the supplies first that we're gonna need for today. Alrighty, so let's look at everything we need. First, we have our wire cutters, our needle nose pliers, five hay cubes, a circle end ring, I'm actually not really sure what this is called. A pair clip for hanging the toy. And you're going to need 16 gauge wire. I got this at Home Depot. Um, you can get the steel galvanized wire. And then you're also going to need six of these um, pine cubes. I got these from Sunshine Chinchillas and I'll put their link down below on where to order these. And then you also need a power drill. So let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is to drill a hole right in the middle of these cubes, your hay cubes. Um, if they're too thick, it'll be difficult and um, more than likely they'll break apart. Same if they're too small. You want like a good size, I, I'd say maybe an inch or maybe less than that of these kind of hay cubes. And if they do fall apart, it's fine. Like if majority of, of it stays together, but you can always just, you know, swap it out for another hay cube and start over. I don't know if I can show you this part because it's kind of hard to film and drill at the same time, but basically you're just drilling straight down the middle. Now we're going to take the wire and we're going to unwind it a little bit, but we're still going to leave it on to the center winding thing. And we're going to take one of our bigger blocks. And it, you can really use all of them at the same si as the same size if you wanted. I just prefer the look of having large pieces at the end and then the small colorful pieces on. So you're going to put one of these cubes in first. It's going to be my end piece. And then I'm going to string one of these hay cubes onto this. I like to work, I guess, from the, um, how should I say this, from the top to the bottom. So instead of putting my hay cubes like this, I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm going to reverse the whole thing. And I'll show you guys. You'll understand when it's all finished. Now that I have my hay cube on, I'm going to put one of the colorful blocks on. And then next will be a hay cube, colorful block, hay cube, until basically I run out of both. So now that I have put on my last block, my pine block, I'm going to take this, the circle ring piece, and I'm going to use the pliers to not wrap this around it but make a circle with the wire or with this circle on the inside i'll show you guys what that looks like it's basically just a loop like this and you might not even have to do it because um if your the hole to your last block isn't huge if you bend the wire with a large enough loop it'll end the piece like it'll end it from going out but i added it just in case so now we are going to push all of the cubes over to the end onto that side. I'm just sorry it's such a mess right here. And then there you go. So then I make sure all the pieces are lining up nicely. Over to this side I like to give myself about an inch on the wire and then that's where I'll cut it. Now all you have to do is to use your needle nose pliers to Sorry, my phone ran out of batteries, but I didn't catch that last part. But here it is. Essentially, all I did was just make a loop with the needle nose pliers at the end of the wire. And then I attached the pair clip. And that's it. Now you have your hanging chinchilla toy. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.